Nick is 34 inches tall, so he's two and a half feet. Today we're celebrating a milestone. Today is Nick's 28th birthday. We didn't even know that we would have him for 28 years, and we don't know if we'll have him for 29. birthday celebration. Nick, sir, are you excited about your party today? Uh-huh. How old are you turning today? Um, 15? No, 20. 28. We're gonna have a good day. We got some friends coming over, so it'll be a neat thing for all of us just to get together. Yeah. Who all is gonna be at your party today? At my friend. I'm gonna at my girlfriend's What's your girlfriend's name? Akali. I don't know if we sent her an invite, did we? Yeah. I did. Okay. I seen an eight bite her. When we started planning it, it was supposed to be 65 and we we're gonna have a bouncy house and all this good stuff. And then today we got the snow, so it's crazy. It hasn't snowed in Georgia like in two years. And here it is, Nick's birthday. Ah, the white stuff is getting on us, hurry. Yeah. What is this stuff? Did you saw the snow on your birthday party? No. Did you order this stuff? No, it happened. It just happened? It yeah. Happened. So we're gonna have fun and who knows, maybe a few snowball fights. Nick has a condition, um, it's called MOPD2, microcephaly osteodysplastic primordial dwarfism. It is a very rare type of dwarfism. So Nick is below average in his size and will always be smaller than most people with dwarfism. His organs and everything are symmetrically small, so everything is kind of proportional. I think he's definitely one of the oldest and maybe one of the smallest still with his condition. Nick, so this is your like your spare bedroom, isn't it? Yeah, great, great. Mm -hmm. So you come and hang out here. Where, took over this is where you sleep. Look, no, I got the phone. Just for you. Who's coming? Nick's mentality is very much childlike. I think has almost protected him. He doesn't really have a sense of time. He doesn't really have a sense of forever. So I think in that way, it's protected him to be able to be joyful and not have to worry about what's going to happen. So I've known Nick for probably 20 plus years. He just instant, you know, personality, everything, just an instant connection. Did it come out? Yep. Yay! Who was that? You. Who's, is this your favorite person? Yeah. In the whole wide world? Yeah. <laughs> what do you call me now? Skinny girl. Skinny girl. I like that. He loves to talk to people. He's always talking to somebody. He's always flirting with somebody. <sighs> I put my teeth. You brush your teeth on mm -hmm. Why, you think you're gonna kiss girls? Yeah. Ooh. Nick is a ladies' man. He does like girls. If you're out in the store, he's looking over and he's walk over to him and say, I shave, and then I show him the muscles. Show up. He's a charmer. Jimmy, you know me? Of course. <laughs> oh, she knows. <laughs> to be born into my family where, you know, my ex-husband is 6'8", and my boys are 6'5", and I'm 5'8", and then he got Nick, and I said, God had a good sense of humor when he made my family. <laughs> his brothers are so good with him. As you can tell, he just loves spending time with his brothers. Who's your favorite brother? We like. Oh, <laughs> are you going to say Travis when he gets here? I don't know, Chad. Do you text Nick? Uncle Fane? Always. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Say hi to your brother. Yeah, say hi to me. <laughs> Did you get that hat oh. today? Yeah. What's up, man? Good. <laughs> Short sure, celebrating Nick's birthday is just always a great thing. Just celebrating his life and him being here with us. And... Snowball fight. <laughs> oh, the snowball fight. Yeah. Thanks, I worry about Nick's future every day. I really do. I worry about a small cold that might end up with something worse. Nick has done everything more than the doctors could even imagine. I mean, they didn't think Nick would ever walk. You know, he didn't think he'd ever talk. Everything that Nick has done had to be learned. Whatever came easy for somebody else, Nick had to try 500 times over to learn it. Nick will always be in my nest. I will always be his mama bear and always have that mama role. So it's like having that boy that never grew up, it's a beautiful child to have. Nick's medical future is, I think, really good. 
He's healthy. He had scoliosis, so he had back surgery, and then he's had three major brain um, surgeries. Uh, we are, you know, staying top of everything that we can. We've been very well educated. We know what comes with his syndrome, what to, you know, monitor and, and watch. One, two, three. Make me, Jeff. Make me. He's so full of life and just has that bubbly personality. And he's just unique and one of a kind person. If you're ever having a bad day, just he'll come up with a joke or he'll talk about something going on in his life and it just kind of puts everything into perspective where you don't worry about much because you see Nick and you see what he's gone through. Happy birthday to you. Having Nick has changed my life like I could never have predicted. He is happy, he is loving. If you just never have felt love like Nick's love. You have my birthday? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah.